Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Man, I'm brimming with joy today. This is such a cool event. The announcement for the winners of our Versus 2022 Diorama Contest. Now, we announced that this competition was running three weeks ago. I approached Mega Constructs personally about a month and a half ago and asked if they would like to help and they provided the prizes for this contest. So I want to start at the beginning of this video by saying a massive thank you to Mega themselves. You are really stepping up with support of this channel and the community in general. We see you, we see how much you're engaging with the community and we want to help you. I hope that my channel can help you guys grow as much as possible. So Mega offered very generously to supply prizes for this contest. Third place, A Arbiter's Quest. Second place, Gungus Gambit Arbiter's Quest. First place, Falcon Sweep, Gungoose Gambit, Arbiter's Quest. That is an epic amount of prizes. Thank you very much, Mega. And the community definitely stepped up to the challenge. This contest was hosted on our Discord, the Mega Constructs Domain. You can also find the same named community on our Facebook, the Mega Constructs Domain. And since we launched this competition, we've gained almost 300 new members, which is so crazy. Welcome all of you. I'm so happy that you can join in with this community. It's a really safe space, a really great way to interact with your friends, to build new friends, and to just share the love that we all have for Halo Mega Constructs. So this is the second time we've ran this versus competition. Last year, we had a load of entries as well on our Discord. This year, people really stepped it up with 318 entries. 318 entries. And the crazy thing is last year, there was a lot of preparation time. This time it was only three weeks. The competition closed two days ago and now we're announcing the winners. And this competition, all you had to do was submit a diorama of two characters fighting, a versus series. Two characters squaring up against each other. There could be loads of different things going on around them, but strictly it had to be two people fighting. 318 of you absolutely nailed it. And some of these submissions are wild. I sat down yesterday with a mixed panel of 15 judges and we spent over two and a half hours going through over 300 entries to narrow it down to 15, then down to 10, then down to three and it was not easy. I wanna state from the start that even if you didn't win, you should be happy that you contributed to this community event. Like you helped expand Mega in general through this Discord. You helped expand our community. And I hope that you had a lot of fun and maybe you learned something. And when you look at some of these entries, they may not seem on par with each other, but you have to remember that everybody put in their maximum effort. Some people might have picked up a camera for the first time to make this diorama. There were a lot of entries, some of the actually the top 10, that said it was their first ever diorama. So I hope this sparks a flame, it reignites the community, it reignites our diorama building passion. And if you would like to see another contest like this, another contest that maybe Mega will help sponsor, then let me know in the comments down below. I want the comments to be filled with positivity, praising all the winners and all of the entries in general. And I want the comments to be filled with suggestions for the next competition. We're open to any ideas. Before we do the top 10, it's time for some honorable mentions. We loved Rhino 1997's recreation of the Halo 5 Guardians Hunt the Truth trailer. The Ego Flex Award goes to Doc Hollywood for all of those honor gods, man. Like you, nobody needs that many. The award for best anime fight scene goes to Leo Pixels. This thing is legendary. Most interesting visuals goes to Thick Rat. I don't even know how he did this particularly, but I really love it. It's actually pretty fantastic. It looks like a game box art. We love the very moody black and white Noah effect of Stables T Jewels. And I was particularly in love with the build aspect of Gen Red's entry. And finally, one random award to the best best name that goes to flex tape 117 <laughs> like flex tape 117 that's that's such a good name to show you the power of flex tape i saw this m12 fav warthog yeah so it was really difficult 318 entries down to 10. And these are the top 10 in no particular order. And then I'll announce third, second, and first place. The top 10 in no particular order. Kenick BK, Poofy, Dead Grunt 433, Halo MCX E5, Krasimon, Evolution 24, Master Destroyer, Neon, Omega Halo, Raku Custom, 
you can see just from those 10, the bar was set high. And I also want to reiterate, we, we got it down to, um, I think it was down to about 28 maybe. And then we had to scale it down to 15, which was really difficult, then down to 10. And then we squeezed it into a, yeah, a top 10 and then a top three. It was actually really difficult. That's why it took over two and a half hours. Like this was no joke. I, I said to everybody when they were coming on, I was like, don't worry, we'll, we'll be finished with this in about 30 minutes. Uh, absolutely not. You can't rush this. Uh, and we wanted to make sure that we took everyone's into consideration. Cause some people, even if the camera quality is not as good, the diorama might be amazing. And like, we, we tried to factor in everything. And we came to those top 10. Kenick YBK, Dead Grunt 433, Evolution 24, Halo MCX E5, Krazimon, Master Destroyer, Neon, Omega, Halo, Poofy, Raku, Custom. Wow. And I bet you're wondering who took the top spot. Let's check it out. In third place was Kenick YBK. created a beautiful mood. I loved the complete black backdrop. I adored how everything was a physical effect. Muzzle flares created by translucent pieces, and I love that. The Arbiter and Sese just battling it out in this Forerunner structure. It's a classic reimagining of a Halo 2 mission. Just the simplicity, man, like the lack of complication drew this into third place. I also love the intricate detailing on the panels on the floor. The lighting was very moody. It reflected nicely off the silver plastic and everything was just shot and exposed really well and some of the quality of the close-ups oh it's so beautiful man Kenin, i think i was saying kenik ybk before uh kenink Ken, Kenink BK. Congratulations, you have won yourself an Arbiter's Quest. And it seems fitting, considering it's the Arbiter versus Sese, that you would have won an Arbiter's Quest. You created a really beautiful atmospheric rendition of this classic Halo scene. Congratulations. Second place, and here's where it was really tight, really hard to decide, but we came out with something that we were really happy with. Unanimously, we could agree that this was second place. Worthy of such a prize. Congratulations, Krasimov. You have a real eye for detail and for construction. The way that you created your base plate, that's not just a simple base plate, it's very thick. Raised up base plate pieces. That's a mouthful. Raised up base plate pieces. And these really gorgeous trees. I love how a bit of grass moves from the dirt floor into the facility. I love this foreigner structure. I don't even know how you supported it like that. I would love to see the inner workings of this thing. Again, it's a perfect piece from Halo 2. The Arbiter's Quest Banshee is up above, which you love to see, and it's displayed really nicely. It's not just straight on a plastic rod. It is angled. I love those Halo 2 Brutes, and I especially love the blood effect you've done for that Halo 2 Brute. It's actually made out of bricks. I've never thought of doing that. I just think this one's perfect. The Forerunner facility is smoothed off nicely. It's got a great background. The green floor that you've chosen works perfectly for the build. I think it deserves second place 100%. Congratulations. Congratulations, Krasimov. I'm also definitely going to be following a tutorial on how to make those trees. They're so great. And so it brings us to first place. Now, I don't know if you guys have already guessed who's going to be first place, uh, judging by those top 10. This was a decision, you know, second and third place, we uh, really debated between the top 10. But first place, when I had presented the top 10 to my judges, I said, look, I think I know who's already deserving of first place. And the judges all agreed with me. The first place winner of our Versus Diorama 2022 competition is Raku Custom. do I even begin with this? It's Ratas Vedum and the Arbiter exploring the Forerunner facility, actually just before the Arbiter squares off with Sese Refumi. So I just realized that all three of these are from Halo 2, which maybe says something. I guess Halo 2, you know, Mega have been producing a lot of uh, figures and vehicles from Halo 2 recently. So I guess it reflects very well on Mega's decision to produce those sets. But this really piqued my interest because it was a what if situation. What if the Arbiter had actually been infected on that facility? 
city while he was searching for the heretic? The answer is he would have had to square off against Ratas Vedum as the Arbiter, which I just love. I absolutely love the idea. Now on the surface, you can see the Arbiter. The, I think the Arbiter draws your attention the most, but then slowly your eyes start to wonder. Everything you see is so epic. We've got a Forerunner Sentinel breaking through a service pipe and there's lots of little orange studs where maybe he's been scratching the floor, maybe where he's charging up his Sentinel beam. And then you've got an infected Johnson on the floor, including a couple of other elites and a cool pop and swap with an old ascetic elite. And then the piece de resistance, the thing that I think just elevated this above, uh, arguably any of the other dioramas because of its sheer creativity is these flood containment pods. That's so badass, man. They're lit really well. And you've got this translucent green plastic that gives this sort of eerie glow. They look so menacing, so fierce. And the fact that you've got those as well as an infected arbiter, as well as a beautifully designed build, like this is a gorgeous, very intricate little piece of the level. It just blew us away. Like it, from the moment I saw this, I, my mind just said, oh, top three instantly. And then when we got it down to the top 10, I said, look, I, I think just the creativity, man. Flood is making a big comeback next year. We're all for it. Mega's re-releasing the Flood in Flood Trex's Tower. This is just a cool teaser to that, man. Like the Flood custom community is just gonna blow up once those sets come out. Like once Mega is actually releasing new articulation Flood, I see a massive resurgence in the community. Congratulations, Raku Custom. You truly deserve first place with this one. Excellent job. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the top 10 out of 318 entries for the versus diorama contest. And I wanna thank everybody for submitting something to this diorama contest. It really has invigorated the community, resurged our Discord, and it was all made possible by Mega Constructs themselves. So thank you, Yan. Thank you to your team. But there can only be three winners, and that goes to Kanink BK. Krazimon and Raku Custom for your phenomenal work, all for some reason centered around Halo 2. <laughs> that's just a coincidence, but that's really dope. Check out my teaser for the Flood Diorama. I've been building it on a live stream today. That video will already be out. Thank you so much for supporting the domain. I'll see you next time, Spartans.